Hey guys, it's Deborah from Timeless Jewels by Deborah. Today I'm bringing a bread up five pound mixed jewelry lot. So let's see what treasures await. Alrighty, so here's my receipt five pounds. It was $44. So with the taxes, it turns out to be $53.11. I'll tell you, these stickers they use are strong. Well, the good thing is, is it's bad, sort of. That's good. And I love getting these little mailers, so that's a good thing. Alrighty. Let's get rid of that. Alrighty. Well, I think we're just going to do partial. Oh, it's not looking promising. But, you know, you can't win them all, so we'll pull this portion out here. Oh. Hopefully it's not too, too tangled. Let's start with that. All right. We've got a pin here. Brass and silver tone. It is marked Bayer, S-F-B-A-E-R. Sorry, I'm sniffling. There you go. That's nice. That'll go into my look up pile oh wow this is really in bad condition that I'm not even gonna put into scrap look at that wow okay that's just gonna have to go bye bye let's pull a few braces out here oh this really looks like a lot of damage here the enameling it is a Trafari. Oh, what a shame. All right. Well, that will go into scrap. Or not into scrap. Into craft. Poison A. That is pretty. Pink. Blue. Floral. Let's see. All right. That is a keeper. Then we have another Cloisonne. And this one is gold. It's got the gold around the side. Very pretty. Burgundy flowers. Dark green. Very pretty. Okay. Let's see here. Now we've got... Oh, and this one's from Mechanicsburg. I'm not sure if I already said that or not. Alright, this already looks like a Mexican piece here. It's got the chips. The stones are mashed in there and chipped. Chips. And blue shell. Most likely, this will be a alpaca piece. There is a marking, but it is really faded. So right here. Let's see. Yeah, you can barely see it. It's right there. Sorry, my hands are filthy. I've been doing jewelry all morning, and every time I clean them, they're just not coming clean. All right. All right. Well, got another bracelet here. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, interesting. It's really misshapen. It feels like tin. Yeah, you can tell that it's definitely has a lot of wear but it has a great patina on it very nice I don't see a maker's mark I thought this was but that's just where it's coming off very interesting that's something I'll look up I don't know if you can see that design pretty neat that's something I will definitely look up okay we got a gallery 57 dental Fitbit type. Interesting. Okay, that can go into a watch lot. All right, this is Funkadelic. It actually will match my shirt. Let's see here. It is just one of those slap bracelets. Maybe I'll just wear it for a while because why not, right? We all could use a little sunshine in our lives. All right, the earrings I'm going to put aside. Oh, unless we found a pair. I do see one pair here. Oh, 
All right, those are cute. They look pretty good. There is wear on the ear lobe. I don't see any make it. Oh, there's some markings here on the enamel. So that will go into craft lot. All right, this looks like a cloth and. Oh, I feel something. Okay, it's a cloth. It's got to be a choker. <clears throat> Definitely too long unless you... No, you couldn't double wrap it. At least I couldn't. So it's a choker. Black with flowers. It's actually very pretty. Fabric. Pretty. Okay. Not sure what I'll do with that yet. Alright. This is a fashion statement necklace. I don't see a maker's mark. It's in okay condition. It's kind of cute. I will put this into a rhinestone crafting lot. A lot of people that love to do the crafts will definitely take that apart for the stones. All right. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Hold that up here. It looks like sterling. It is marked 925. Very pretty. Now, to me, that looks like a blue topaz, but I am pretty sure it's glass. I'll have to test that later. I only have my diamond tester with me right now. I don't have my presidium, so it is a size six and a half. Very pretty. Wow. And, oh. It opens. It's one of those poison pills, as I used to call them. You could put snuff or something would go in there. Very pretty. But yeah, I will definitely test it for sterling and for stone. Interesting. I love how we've innovated over the years with jewelry. You know, something that was an everyday item. And surprise, there's something else there. Oh, this is beautiful. It's a stretch bracelet. Pave, crystal clear. Let me see. These are plastic beaded necklace bracelet. Very pretty. Look at that sparkle. All right. That will go into a lot. <clears throat> or I may sell that. I'm not sure yet. You guys, let me know what you would do with some of these items. Would you mop them up or would you sell them? Oh, what a shame. I love this color. And look, there's missing stones. I'm hoping they're in the bottom of the bag. It looks like a J. Crew piece, but it is not marked. All right, we're going to put that to the side and see if we come across the stones. I hope so. All right, we got some more single earrings. All right, let's see what is not too knotted. All right, wow, okay. I was gonna say, no way. <laughs> this is a necklace with an anchor. It says Fornash, F-O-R-N-A-S-H. I know I've heard that before. Fornash. Very pretty. It looks in good condition. So that is something I will definitely look up. Beautiful blue enamel. Let's see. Okay, this is... Oh. This is not an earring. I thought it was an earring at first, but it's a faux ring. And with the rhinestones, they're more of a silver tone here. And then crystal clear. That will definitely go into a rhinestone lot. Looks like Charming Charlie earring sets. Oh, missing a stone. So those for sure will go into a craft lot. I see a pumpkin. Tis the season. Okay, this is just a button cover. It looks like sterling silver, but I am pretty sure it is not. The back. Oh, it's magnetic on the back, but we will definitely check it. But I have run across other button covers, and I've never seen one that has a sterling silver on it. So that is one that I will definitely look up. 
Oh, wow. This is a pretty chain bracelet. 925 right here. It's got the safety X hook. Very pretty. Wow. Very nice cut work. And it looks like hunting scene here because I see a deer. I'm not sure. Or a llama, maybe. It looks like Eastern theme right over here. It looks like Haida or some other Alaskan uh, theme over on this side. So I will definitely give that a look up. All right, I had to stop there for a minute and untangle a little bit. Okay, so this is interesting. It's it's really bent, but this is sterling silver, and it is a Taxco piece. And it's marked Mexico here, and then the T11, and I believe it says SD or 50. I will have to look that up in my Taxco book and see if I can fake and find out exactly who the maker is. So, great. That's another piece of sterling we got. I did get two more of these bracelets, so I will definitely sell them all together as a set. Got this pretty art glass. You can hear it. Necklace. The There's a lot of wear right here on the end. There is no maker's mark. But I will definitely put that into an art glass beadlot. Alright, we've got one pumpkin so far. Hopefully we find the other little guy. And I do have to show you this. Look at this. It looks like a little pendant or ear. Somebody was hungry. They took a bite out of the apple. So, super cute. I'll have to look and see if there's anything that that goes with. Alright, next we got a shell necklace. Street, uh, strand beaded here. They look like wood beads and they just have the barrel screw together pretty color that will go into craft lot because it is broken here on the shelves which is too bad because sometimes these look really nice with a different kind of outfit okay we got a pair of earrings they're not in good condition that's going into craft we got this beautiful purple crystal most likely glass on a rose gold chain and it you move it like this to make it smaller or larger very pretty I do not see any makers marks on it but boy is that a pretty color I don't know if you guys can see pick up that purple here let's see if it'll focus we're trying but it's a very pretty purple all right so that I will definitely sell and then I got a set, a bracelet set here, and a necklace, White House, Black Market. It's very pretty. There's a lot of wear here on the metal, which is too bad because it's really pretty. But what I might do is just take off all of the beads here and put those separately into a lot and then I'm not sure if there's much hope for this chain, so we will have to see if it can clean up at all. And the necklace, whoops, I'm knocking my camera today. And the necklace is really pretty as well, so let's see. It looks in good condition. So, yep, it, it is. There's, of course, some wear on the back of the hang tag. It is White House Black Market. So one of those I will sell, and the other one is going to go into a lot. All right, and then we got this mesh beaded bib necklace. Lots of beads. It's actually very pretty. I don't see any maker's mark. Let's see if there's beads missing. I don't know. I'll have to definitely take a closer look at that. But that is very pretty. So that will go into my cell pile. All right. Then we got, all right, let's see. It looks like one, okay, two different chains. So those can be used for many different things. So I'm sure I can find a use for those. So I'm going to keep those for myself. 
I did pull out a pair of earrings that look pretty together. This one's missing the ring. That's an easy fix. And then another pair of earrings here. They are not sterling and they're in poor condition. Blue and those are plastic. So those are going to craft lot and a little tiny pair of strawberry wood earrings and another anchor. And these look sterling, but I am pretty sure they are not. Let's check them. They are not marked anywhere. So I will put those into the test pile. All right. Whoops. And then we got a chain here with pink rhinestones. It's from Claire's. Oh, it's not in good condition. It is really discolored. But those are really pretty pink. So that will go into a rhinestone lot. This will go into a lot as well. It's just a wooden cross. And, let's see, a broken silver tone chain. And on this, I did find two of the stones, so we'll keep that to the side and see if we can find that third. Because that's an easy fix, and I can do that. And then I've got a broken necklace, which I can easily fix. It just needs to be rehooked here and it's crystal clear aurora borealis light here bow pearl and this is white house black market so that's something i will fix all right let's see what else we got in here that is heavy whatever it is all right oh hey i found the little pumpkin great all right Let's see. Let's just pour it out. And... I'm getting some interesting pieces, that is for sure. Oh, wow. Wowzer, wowzer, scarab pieces. I love Egyptian Revival. So anything that has something that looks like a scarab, I absolutely love. This is beaded. These are clay. Very pretty, but wow. Wowzer. This would be great for Halloween, so I may consider putting this up as a costume. Interesting. I don't see a maker's mark. Let's see if it clips together. All right, it does, so that I can put in with my Halloween items. Next, we've got a watch. It says Veneer, V-E-R-N-I-E-R. It looks in great condition. It's blue leather. So that I will definitely look up. Another watch. This one is a Geneva Platinum. Pretty. Ugh. It is dirty inside. Stainless steel. You can see there was probably a Goodwill sticker. That's what it looks like here on the back. Yeah, it's in pretty poor condition but the face is actually in pretty good condition so that I will put into a men's watch lot I do that a lot all right paparazzi earrings oh, I don't know if they're intentional or if they're missing something let's see nope they're in good condition they're cute and then a paparazzi bracelet right there so those we will put into a lot Francesca's little cute crystalline earrings yes they are we found a little sparkle just for you so those are new on the card but as you see if they're if this is the true card it's missing some all right interesting oh found another button cover All right, this is, well, interesting. It feels like it is metal, but it sure is light. Okay, if you see that when I pull it apart, it is on a chain, but they're all hollow. It's a chain bracelet. Very interesting, and I cannot get over how exact light this is. So that's something I will look up. We've got a wood inlay. Looks like it's signed on the back. T. 
CI or ICI. Beautiful inlay. So that's something I'll be looking up. Okay, pretty. Is it dirty? Wow. It is definitely not sterling. It has too much thinness to it, but it's very pretty. I'm going to see if I can clean this up. It is filthy. All right, let's see what's in the bag. Interesting already. It's broken, or it may be fixable. Okay, it, there is a marking here. It is marked 925 on the back. It's very pretty. It's missing a lot of the stones here. But boy, is that pretty. And let's see if there's another mark on the bail and the chain. There is a marking. I'll have to look that up. But wow, that's pretty. So this must have somehow gone on top. This has marcasites. So it does belong with it. You can tell by the bail. Interesting. It'd be nice to find those little pieces in this bag. I'm going to test those. They look like jade. All right, let's see. Got a pair of earrings. They are hollow for sure. Gold tone. They're filthy, but they do maybe look like they have them marked down there. Yes, they're marked 14 karat gold. Right down there. Don't know if y'all can see that. 14 karat gold. Right there. So those I will definitely put into my pile. Fantastic. All right. I I should have said, you know, hey, this box wasn't the best. It has redeemed itself. All right. Here's that other earring that we saw earlier. Put those to the side. I didn't get too many earrings. I'm surprised. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Cute little pin. I'll put him into a figural lot. All right. Let's see. Oh, I found the other apple. Oh, it was an earring. So that means the other one is damaged. All right, now this is cute. I don't see a maker's mark on it. I don't see any markings. It looks like an apple, or I'm sorry, one of the eggs. It's got the V on it. So I will definitely have to look that up. If anyone knows what that is, make sure you put it in the comments and let me know what you think this stands for. I'm going to look it up. This is black enamel and gold. It's an egg. It looks like a Fabergé egg. And it has a lot of weight to it. But the chain itself is not marked. And I'm sure it's costume. But it is not sticking. So that is something we will definitely research. So if you guys know that brand, let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section. All right, this is a very long copper tone belt, most likely. I don't believe it is a necklace. It could be. Yeah, it definitely looks like a belt. Yes, okay. Very heavy, very pretty. I'll look at it closer and see if I can see any maker's mark. I do not. There's no hang tag. But that is some pretty chain. Very heavy. And we've got a seed bead necklace that is knotted. Let's see if it's one of those that you tie or you hook over the beads. I believe that's what it is. So, yes. You can hook. That's why these so, so get tangled. So you can just hook this over the neck and make it whatever length you'd like by tucking them in. So that's pretty. Uh, there's the earring piece. Okay, we've got two more items out of this five pound box. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow, these are dirty. Pretty, but dirty. I don't know if they are Gorgiana.com or not. We'll have to look them up. This is a paper here. 
and that is a plastic stone. No markings on the back. There is a small, tiny little marking. Let's see. Oh, it's got a spade on it. They look like Kate's spade. So I will definitely have to do some more research. Let's check that out. There might be something written. So they are dirty and a little smashed up. So I will definitely take a peek and see if these are Kate Spade. If you guys know anything about it, let me know. All right. And the last piece is another very heavy piece. Wow. I don't know if I could wear something this heavy. But is it interesting? I don't see any maker's mark. It hooks right here. Wow. Wowzer. Black and gold. Wow. That is beautiful. Bib style necklace. It is just very heavy. So you would want to make sure that your clip is on there. So yeah, you guys let me know which piece you like the best. This did turn out to be okay. I do have some new items to look up, which is fantastic. I always love learning. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure that you hit the like and the subscribe button and hit the all button so that way you can be notified. This is box one of three. I ordered five, or three of these all on the same day and they're all five pounds. So they did come from different areas though. So keep a, leave a comment. Let me know and I'll see you soon. Have a good night. Bye.